Hi, I'm Kate from Better Body Health and Fitness, and this is Spencer from Better Body Health and Fitness. We're here today to answer the questions that you've been dying to hear the answers to. The first one being, how do you get rid of that tricep jiggle? Spencer, how do you get rid of that tricep jiggle? The best way and the most efficient way to get rid of that tricep jiggle is to perform two exercises. One is the overhead extension, the other is known as a skull crusher. And exactly what is an overhead press and what is a skull crusher? Okay, it's an overhead extension, the tricep is an arm extended. The overhead, extend, the overhead extension will be performed by grabbing a piece of resistance, a weight, a resistance band, whatever it is that you have at your disposal, bringing the arms behind you, elbow shoulder width, and straightening up. One, two, and so on. That is the overhead extension. And the skull crusher, how do you perform a skull crusher? The skull crusher is performed lying down on a surface, a mat, a table, a bench, whatever you have at your disposal. Again, grabbing the piece of resistance, your arms will be straight up, perpendicular to the floor. From here, bending the elbows back, elbows or shoulder width, and again, extending the arms. One, two, three. That is the skull crusher. And Spencer, how many reps should you be doing on this overhead extension and of the skull crusher? One thing you have to remember about your reps is your reps are geared towards your goals. You're either training for strength, for muscle size, or for endurance. For strength, you're doing between 6 and 8. For muscle size, 8 and 12. For endurance, you're doing anywhere from 12 to 20 reps. So you have to decide your goals, and then you'll choose that rep range. So for myself, if I really want to tighten up those triceps, as many women do, would you suggest that I do more of an endurance or more of a strength training? Yes, yeah, so one thing I hear from women almost all the time is, is this going to make me big? I don't want to get big. So I would definitely keep your reps above 12 and below 20, somewhere in there. Pick a weight or resistance that will allow you to perform 12 to 20 reps. Make them a challenge. And Spencer, how many times a week should I be working these triceps? Definitely do not work your triceps any more than twice a week. The triceps get a lot of work when you do chest and when you do shoulders. So if you do your triceps twice a week, and your chest and your shoulders twice a week, you'll almost be working your triceps about six times a week eventually you start getting involved in overtraining. Now Spencer, can you give me any other advice on how to work my triceps and how to keep them tight? The best way to keep muscle tone and the way to keep your body tight is to eat clean, increase your protein to develop lean muscle mass, but also keep your cardio high to keep that body fat off of your body, and that'll be getting rid of your jiggle and getting rid of the softness that you may have. Thank you, Spencer. That was very informative. And for all you out there, I hope that that was helpful for, for you too. You're welcome. Thank you.